I'm talking about compatibility issues between older versions of Excel. Most of us have been using 2007 through Microsoft 365 or 2016 for years now. This is a really old file that was done in 2003. And what it was, back in the old days, you had about 65,000 rows. But I did a chart here. And I want to go and I want to do some of the nice features here. I'm in the design here. This is grayed out. We have a compatibility issue. When we started 2007, it was XLSX. They put an extra X at the end. And the old ones did not have it would be .xls. So I'm going to click on File. It's also read only. Okay, I can't save this. I'm going to click on Compatibility. I click here. It's putting in the XLSX extension here. So I'm going to have that new file here. So I've done this. Convert, uh, completed successfully. You must close and reopen the workbook. I'm just going to say yes. It's going to reopen it. It's still there. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to close this out. And then I'm going to go into here. And I have this one here, XLS. I'm going to open this one up. Watch. We go to the bottom row, end down arrow. We got a million. Watch this. I click on the chart here. And then I could just go and do things in here. When I'm on design here, it's active. So I'm talking about this compatibility here. And if I were to do a file, you can sometimes do a save as. I could click inside here. It shows a whole bunch of things here. If you're doing macros, you could change it to a CSV file, a DOS file. But I'm just showing you this thing. Occasionally this can mess you up when you're doing things here. You also have this other solution, which I have done, where I'm just going to hit the escape key. If you're in one, you can just copy and move the page to a new book. Like, let's say I've got this thing here, okay? Um, if it's still in the old one here, I create a new blank document, Control N. And what I can do, Sales by City, I can right click in here and I can say Move or Copy. And I can say Create a Copy, put it in my book one. It will automatically be an XLSX file with the million rows, not that you're going to use them. Just talking about compatibility issues with the program.